Good evening. My name is Anna Kate Androsco, and I'm honored to serve you as both SGA president and your host for the evening. On behalf of our Student Government Association, College Night Committee, and Purple and Gold side, we are pleased to welcome our alumni home, and we invite family and friends to experience our finest and most loved tradition. For those of you who are with us for the first time, I will give you a summary of our college night. It all began in 1919 as a competition between the classes that consisted of stunts, poems, and pep songs. In 1921, the college instituted the concept of two sides and adopted the school colors to represent them. Since then, College Night has escalated into two original student musical productions. From costumes to set and script to score, these shows are the reflection of our best and a tribute to our alma mater and her alumni. Now, without further ado, it is my great pleasure to introduce the 2022 Purple Victory Leaders, Katie Barnes and Lisey Freeman. And now, allow me to introduce the 2022 Gold Victory Leaders, Joy Hill and Kinsley Sandlin. And now let's bring on the cheerleaders.
Purple Leaders will ask their side members and alumni to join them in the singing of the side song. Following this, the Gold Leaders will ask their side and alumni to join them in the singing of their side song.
during the performance. The Purple Side will now take the stage for their final preparations for their production.
The 2022 Purple Victory cast proudly presents Bad at Being Bad, or the League of Incredibly Evil Wrongdoers, who sometimes do good. <laughs> Written by Lane Garrett, Cody Mamet Dearmont, and Mars Pearson. Script edited by Janie Madison, Shermione Page, Robin Watson, Bailey Glasgow, and Lane Garrett. Direction team consisting of Dustin King, Molly Culp, CJ Edwards, and Lane Garrett. Music composed by Reese Bush, choreographed by Shermione Page and Anselm Pilkington. Stage managed by Kayla Hampton, Carson Reed, and Macy Robinson. Lyrics by Lisey Freeman and Anselm Pilkington. Vocal coaching by Gracie Collins and Reese Bush. Artistic direction and scenic design by Isaac Barrientos and Josie Offit. Technical direction by Travis Fitz and Cole Swain. Costumes designed by Madison Hotchkiss and Troy McMullen. Hair and makeup by Isabella Harrington and Letsy Barnett. Props by Robin Lee Watson and Janie Madison. Pit course directed by Gracie Collins and, Al and Alyssa Watts. <laughs> the 2022 Purple Victory Orchestra is conducted by Marie Conningham. Magento? Magento, where are you? We need you. Dagger, are you out there? She has to be there. We can't stop looking. And Channel 2 News, and I'm here in front of the First National Bank where it seems we have a situation at hand. There are no leads on who could be at large, but it is this reporter's suspicion that the League of Incredibly Evil Wrongdoers could be behind this. Who will put an end to the chaos on our streets that were once so peaceful? Be so evil! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Eric! <laughs>
Falcon Man, sir, care to comment? Well, John, when the flock starts a squawking, the bad guys start a walking. Well, you know what they say about big wings and big shoes. <laughs> Falcon Man, any comment on the string of missing heroes in the city? I wish I had more to say, John, but I've been too busy mourning the passing of my dear friend Magento. I'm almost positive that that group of dastardly fiends is to blame. Too many of our beloved heroes have come and gone because of them. We all miss him, sir. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. With a recent string of heroes disappearing, should Montevopolis be afraid of what's to come? Is there any hope left in this crime-riddled city? Where are you, Dagger? I'd wish you'd come back soon. Oh, hey, gang, how are you? I'm fine. I definitely wasn't doing anything. Oh, we know you haven't been doing anything, nothing but sitting on your head. Hey! How I choose to spend my free time is my business. If I want to do some wistful thinking, I have Kill every- switch. What day is it today? Uh, Wednesday. Hmm. And what did we discuss was on the League of Incredibly Evil Wrongdoers agenda for Wednesday during our board meeting last week. Uh, oh, the heist! <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something today. Well, how'd it go? How do you think it went? Look, I know you're all weepy because Dagger just disappeared, but this whole what was me act is really bringing the whole team down. Well, I'm sorry, I have feelings. She was twice the villain you'll ever be. Whatever. Let's just clean up this mess before Dr. Weevil finds out the we- Dr. Weevil finds out what? <laughs> that you three imbeciles have failed yet again to complete even the most basic of wrongdoings! Pathetic! <laughs> Clearly, you three have forgotten our one true purpose. To take control! And then I get to turn everybody into itty bitty little insects. And do what now? What? Never mind that. You'll be the first little splicing table if you so desire. Uh, isn't my wing wonderful, Captain? Just imagine, with features like mine, you could be Captain Cicada instead. Ugh. Never mind that. It's time for some new blood. If you can't do it, then find me a villain who can. A competent one. But no one can replace Dagger, boss. I can't do this again. Oh, yes. Such a shame. But you can, and you will do it again, or I'll turn you into a roach! <laughs> Happy hunting. <laughs> I 
I don't want to be a wink. Where are we going to find the new feeling? Craigslist. Who's it gonna be? Will they have everything we need? Can it take the heat? Be so bad, we can't be me. We need to know how far they're willing to go to take on heroes. You gotta go toe to toe. They need to know the stakes. Will the pressure never break? There's no room for mistakes. Do they have what it takes? Hey, Frankie, Frankie. Oh, yeah, that's me. All right, Frankie, so how about you tell us the most evil deeds you've ever committed? Bonus points if it's bloody. Hey, yo, so I got a whole 10 million followers on my YouTube account? <laughs> I'm a professional prankster. Last week, I stole the kid's dog. Pranked! Tomorrow, I'll steal my neighbor's wife. Pranked! You know what? We're good. Today, I stole this weapon. Pranked! Oh, get him out of here! Max! Rat King. So you're the king of rats. Dad. Me, I have a hundred rats in my disposal. It do be a big clown to hear though. Gross! So what can you do with your rat companions? Uh, scuttling, scuttling, and squeaking. And sometimes they bite. I'm not impressed. Not impressed. I am a king. You will regret this. Ugh, gross! Max! Hello! Uh, hi. Your name is Dave? Yep. What do you do, Dave? I'm an HR manager. And what's your deal? Oh my god, this is not gonna work. Let's Ooh. find the prey and then devour. Last applicant of the day, Edith Edwards. Oh, uh, call me Eddie. I don't care. Better be a good one. So, Eddie, what is it that makes you want to be evil? Urge to cause harm, wanting to hurt civilians? It's the heroes. Oh. I want to take them out. Oh. Um. You know what's funny? You guys do all of these evil deeds. You hurt people, you wreck the city, but so do they. Every time there's a big alien laser beam in the sky, whole lives are destroyed. I think we'd be better off if they all disappeared. At least then we'd know we couldn't trust anyone. And if you had the chance and you could confront these heroes, what would you do? Whatever it takes. So it seems she has no power. Even so with thoughts like ours. Now it's time for us to choose. You need to know the stakes. Feel the pressure never break. There's no room for mistakes. Do you have what it takes? You need to know the stakes. Feel the pressure never break. There's no room for mistakes. deaths in the Edwards family, the investigation continues with help from our beloved hero, Falcon Man. Remember, folks, lock your doors, hide your children, hold your lovers tight, and if the item's on sale, you only get half the jail time. All right, newbie, you got the job. Now it's time to put your money where your mouth is. Whatever you want to throw at me, I can take it. That's exactly what Dagger used to say. Who? Ugh, Dagger. Tough as leather and tongue sharp, sharp as a sword. She was one of the best in the league until one day she just up and disappeared. Oh, well, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you better not. And let me tell you, if you ever flake out on me, I swear I'll... No, no, really, you actually showed up early to something? Look who discovered what an alarm is. <laughs> the moon is out, villains! Let's not make an ass out of ourselves this time. Yeah, yeah you guys are kind of embarrassing to watch. Let's take to the streets. Oh. Yeah! yeah. Well, well, well. What have we got here, a bunch of losers on the loose? How'd you find us? You guys do this every night. It is very routine. Every night at 8 o'clock. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Solar flare! Ooh, girl, oh, God, you she's are like not a glow stick! Ooh, she's gonna burn! <laughs> We've met. 
I've defeated you in battle hundreds of times. Hmm. I don't recall. Do any of you guys know who this weirdo is? No, I don't talk to short people. <laughs> don't listen to them. Everyone knows who you are. They're just being sarcastic. Thank you, Sunflo. We do not have sarcasm on the sun. You're from the sun? And who's this? A new intern. Precious. Big talk, coming from a sweet little birdie. I think I can take you. Oh, so you think I'm sweet? Actually, I think you're quite... What? Stop no, birdie! I... Bring your little birdie. Oh, what he said! Why do you even try every single night? It's always so sad how we beat you so bad. You think you're a threat. You deserve what you get. Said we weren't making asses out of ourselves. Breaking news! A new hero on the rise. Earlier this evening, a string of good deeds and heroic rescues have been occurring rapidly. Locals have begun calling this hero the Night Owl. Who is this mysterious crusader? Will they put an end to the evildoers in the city once and for all? And are they single? <laughs> I am. I like pina coladas, getting caught in the rain, and making, you know, A new hero on the rise. The Night Owl! A light in the darkness of Montevopolis. A bigot of hope! Listen, I can explain- I don't want to hear it! Kill switch! How could you allow something like this to happen? As if what happened to Dagger wasn't enough? One of the most ferocious villains to pass through these streets. All that potential just wasted! Then I give you another chance to prove yourself and redeem yourself worthy. Then you go and turn a villain into a hero. Have you lost your spark? I knew she failed like she always does. Quiet, you! Mrs. <sighs> Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Dr. Weevil, madam. Oh, it speaks. What do you have to say for yourself, hero? Listen, I know I screwed up. Oh, yeah. I'm no hero, not by a long shot, but I can't just stand by while innocent people get caught in the crossfires when we're all just fighting over nothing. Oh, so she's not a hero. She's just weak. Oh, really? Nice job, Killswitch. You hired a pacifist. Me? What do you mean me? You mean we. We? What do you mean we? I don't speak French, honey. No, I mean we as in us. Us as in Toys R Us? I'm gonna Silence! You. You're all gonna be bugs or us if you keep bickering! You are no better than schoolyard children! <laughs> now what are we gonna do with you? Oh, I could make you into a cute little termite. Wait! 
If you just give me the chance, I know I can do something truly evil. If I need to hurt somebody, it's got to be a hero. And nobody else. Well, I suppose causing more unrest in the city is worth it, even if you do fail. Why not? <laughs> I may be evil, but I am not unreasonable. How about this? A local billionaire, Mr. Miller, is having a gala tomorrow night. Go there and steal the biggest, shiniest thing that you can find. But Eddie, one last time, you'll have one last time to fix this one last crime. You'll have one last mark. You can't miss Eddie. I'm about to lose my mind. If you don't make this right, you'll have one last time. No wrongness, no slipping up, no more bad choices. Let him close to I say this with love, you'll have to be disposed of this and not again. Silver at the sky. So don't make the same mistake. This is not a game. This is not a game. Engrave this in your brain. Your last chance. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Come on. So y'all are going to grab the whole number without me? No more disappointments. I don't want to disappoint them. I just want to make the heroes pay. I want to make my parents proud. I want to do the right thing, but is this the right way? The heroes are no good. They should be locked away. If they really care, they keep the people truly safe. All they really want are the cheers and fame. The bad guys keep it real, so a villain I'll stay. No more spectating from the stands. I'm taking matters into my hands. I hope the people understand. I don't want to hurt them, because that's not in my plans. The heroes are no good. They should be locked away. If they really cared, I'd have my parents here today. What do you do when you've been betrayed? by the ones who want to protect you, or so they say. Where were they when my parents needed help? Too busy smiling for the cameras, keeping the people under their spells. They'll cause the damage, and then they'll leave. So if that's a true hero, that's not what I want to be. The heroes are no good. They should be locked away. If they really cared, they'd keep the people truly safe. All they really want are the cheers and fame. The bad guys keep it real, so a villain I'll stay. They better have something good to steal. A 
All right. Unless you want to be turned into a termite, this is our last shot. Now, remember, the key here is to blend in. Tonight, we are snooty socialites. Got it? Got it. Let's go, darling. Hey, guys! <laughs> Isn't it great to have so much money? <laughs> Am I right? I guess they let anyone into these things. Let's go there. I smell trash. Mr. Miller. Oh, uh, Mr. Miller and I go way back. <laughs> we met on the uh, Montevopolis Country Club for local billionaires. By the way, you have like really pretty hair. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you looking for someone? What? No, 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 no. I was just, uh, I was just admiring this beautiful mansion. It's, uh, it's really something else. Oh, yeah. The Miller Mansion is one of the oldest buildings in the city. Most of its architecture remains true to its original design. Wow. You really know your stuff. <laughs> Do you dance? Uh, no. What was that? Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. Uh, do you want to dance with me? Um. to do my job and keep us from getting spliced. But oh, don't worry about it. You can go back to flirting. Okay, okay, I'm here now. But no jewels. Maybe not. But I did find this inconspicuous button that says, do not push this button. belonged to Hero Magento. In this suit, it was daggers. But what is all this? Does this mean Mr. Miller killed Magento? And dagger. We have to tell the others. 
No, stop right there, Night Owl. I knew it was you. I knew something was up. Oh, we need you on the gala floor. There's a drunken guest. Oh. I don't understand. Magento was our friend. When we searched for weeks and weeks, we couldn't find any trace of him. Why is all this here? <laughs> oh, Sparrow, isn't it genius? After I pinned his death on the villains, the battle between villains and heroes got bigger and more destructive than ever. My company made millions off those building repairs, and I was more beloved than ever. It was you? And the missing villains was a part of your scheme, too? Dear, I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're a child. You're blinded by your own naive ideas of justice and goodness. None of that makes you a hero. You need power. You need control. You need fame. I did what I had to do with Magento. Dagger was just collateral damage for the sake of the greater good. Once they were gone, the warfare was incredible. And who else but I could save the civilians from the League of Incredibly Evil Wrongdoers and... You killed Magento! Magento got too big for his boots! You're not a hero at all. You're a monster. I don't think you understand. There are no heroes, only man. Fame and money drive our choices. Listen close to what my voice says. Sparrow, my dear, I could make you disappear. This is not a game. Think about saying something to someone. Just try it, little songbird. <laughs> Did I see it all wrong? Am I the one to blame it on? There's just gotta be some mistake. <laughs> the world I've known is upside down. We've got to make it right somehow, or am I just too late? Was I just a pawn in his game? Or am I also the one to blame? I will never see things the same. But it doesn't feel that way. We're ready to help whatever you need. This just in. We are getting reports of property destruction at the Miller Mansion during the local billionaire's annual gala. Viewers, I know you're concerned as well to hear of the news of something so tragic happening to one of Montevopolis' most eligible bachelors. But rest assured that he is safe and sound thanks to the efforts of our local hero, Falcon Man. Plus, an insider has confirmed that he is single and looking. There's still hope. Come on in! Welcome to the Doomsday Dive, where the drinks are so strong, you'll forget you had your ass handed to you by a hero! Stay strong, fellow villains! To evil! To evil! <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, you guys. Of course, we always got your back, but, um, why'd you bring us to this shady place? It's, it's causing my leaves to wilt. Because there's someone in there that we can trust. Trusting a villain? This feels incorrect. They lost one of their friends, too. 
We have to do this. All right, we trust you. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> All this time I've spent holding on to some hope that Dagger would come back someday. I can't believe she's gone for good. Are you sure it was her suit? I know what I saw. Eddie, too. Dagger is one of our strongest. Does this mean one of us is next? We're not going to let that happen. We have to come up with a plan. The intern is right. <laughs> but I must say, I never expected a hero and villain super killer in Montevopolis. Oh, this is quite troubling. I just want to go home. <laughs> you look like a little birdie out of her. Yes, they couldn't wait for the next street fight. Let's tell them all <laughs> limb from limb. Enough! I'm not here to fight. Well then, what are you here for then? A cocktail. Actually, I could use a drink. <laughs> Sarcasm, honey. Right. I came here because I didn't know where else to go. What do you mean? We are all in danger. Heroes? And villains. Please. <laughs> and why should we listen to the big bird's pet? Do you think that I would come to a seedy place like this if I didn't absolutely have to? Everyone back off. Let me handle this. Don't do anything stupid, Eddie! Get over here! Come on! <laughs> Eddie, finally learned your name. I didn't catch it at the gala. That gala? That was you. Yes. And I must say, you're a pretty great dancer. <laughs> and I must say, you are very pretty. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry. So this Miller has been killing villains and heroes, but who's Miller? How has he been slipping under our radar? How powerful could this guy possibly be? That's just it. Mr. Miller is Falcon Man. What? what? He's been killing heroes to stay at the top and killing villains to keep the conflict going. If he keeps at it, we are all going to be picked off one by one. Any of you could be next. What do we do? It won't be easy. The worst is yet to come. If we don't bring him down, more lives will be gone. In this place, just upon the lines already drawn. How can we trust you when the damage is done? He'll try to pick us off every single one. It's time for us to take a stand. We'll have to do it hand in hand. It's gone on for too long, and we won't take it. someone who can help us. Really? Yeah. Meet me at the bank tomorrow oh. at noon. Tell us who is. Falcon Man will be there. I'll get ready. When push comes to shove, I'll be there. I got your back. Thank you, Eddie.
Sparrow, how does my cape look? No wrinkles? Gotta look good for the press. You will never get away with this stocking, man. <laughs> oh, Sparrow, naive little bird. I get away with everything. And if you don't keep that pretty little beak shut, I'll make sure you never fly again. You get rid of me, too? <laughs> keep it up and find out. Besides, I hear there's a new hero on the rise. I might give him a call after all. I might be on the market for a new sidekick. What are you saying? I'm saying that if you decide to try anything, I won't hesitate to take you down and make it look like an accident. That clear enough for you, little songbird? Crystal, clear. Thank you. Mm. Citizens of Montevopolis. Sparrow, what's it like having Falcon Man as your leader? Oh, well, it's great, really, really great. I, um, you were not, uh, no, no, I don't have a favorite thing. This man is no hero at all. This man has deceived all of us. He doesn't care about good or evil. He only cares about power, the press, and his reputation. He would do anything to take more power, including murder esteemed heroes. That's right, Falcon Man murdered Hero Magento, villain Dagger, and so many more. He's, he's no hero, he is the villain. There's no way. Yeah, we love Falcon Man, he's the best. He's the goodest guy we've got. Because that's what he's told, that's what he told you. He's fooled all of you. Citizens, this poor girl has clearly fallen into evil's clutches. You all know me. I'm Falcon Man. <laughs> she must be the wife of the villain. Yeah, what's she right. say? Oh, my God, my dear friend! Channel 2 News, and I may not be the first on the scene, but I'm cracking this cake. Sunflow, <laughs> Solar Flare, John, my man. I knew you'd defend my honor. Mm, not today, Falcon Man. Yeah, your hero days are over. You may be a charming. Handsome, strong man, who I have undeniable chemistry with, but I am a journalist first, and this was a scoop I couldn't pass up. You know, for a man with so many secrets, you should know to check for a wire. I'm saying that if you decide to try anything, I won't hesitate to take you down and make it look like an accident. That clear enough for you, little songbird? That's doctored, I... I am many things, Mr. Falcon Man. Or should I say, Mr. Miller? <laughs> but I am not a spreader of fake news. I have a team of reporters headed to your mansion right now to scour the place. You think you can overthrow me, Sparrow? Even if they all believe you? You're not strong enough. You're right. I couldn't overpower you. Not without help. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's power in numbers against me? You must be more naive than I thought. Are you sure about that? Hey, bird brave! <laughs> you better start shopping for a bird cage because you're going to become very acquainted with life behind bars. This is it, Falcon Man. You're done. Let us find out. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Bye. 
Or it doesn't have to be. Well, after this, we're back to being enemies. I don't want that. You don't? No, I... I would... Miss working with you. We make a pretty good team, you know? We do, don't we? I thought heroes were just people with huge egos in capes and tights, but we get to define who we are as heroes. No one else can define that for us. I think my parents would be proud to see me here with you. You and me, we can put an end to hero corruption in this town. But we have to make sure no civilians get caught in the crossfires. <laughs> Kill switch! Are you in? We will now have a 20-minute intermission. Please remember that food and drinks are not allowed in the auditorium.
Each year, the College Night leaders and SGA president, along with the chair of the College Night committee, select an individual to whom College Night is dedicated. Last night, it was our distinct pleasure to honor Dr. Jefferson Walker, class of 2008. Mr. and Miss University of Montevallo. Excuse me, I... I felt like we got robbed out of a 2021 celebration for college night. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Thomas Dillard. I'm the 2021 SGA president. And I would like to introduce the 2021 Purple Side and Gold Side leaders. Thank you, thank you. So of course, I must introduce our Purple Side leaders of 2021, LaVon Thompson and Brianna Hamblin on FaceTime. <laughs> And of course, our 2021 Gold Side leaders, Jonathan Everhart and Abby Askins. Well, wasn't that a surprise? <laughs> we also want to acknowledge Rusty Greer, class of 98, who was honored as a 2022 recipient of the Distinguished Alums Award presented by our National Alumni Association. Rusty was unable to be with us, but let's give him a round of applause. We would also like to recognize our Natalie Moulton Gibson's Young Achievers Award. This year's recipient is Marvin Price, class of 2019. Will you please stand? <laughs> Finally, we are pleased to announce that Lindsay Witherspoon, class of 2008, has earned a special recognition as the winner of the Natalie Moulton Gibbons Award. Lindsay, will you please stand? To say the least, last year's homecoming and college night were like no other before them. So we want to take a moment to give the spotlight back to last year's award win winners. If you are here with us, please stand as I call your name. Mr. Tim Lupinacci, class of 1988, is the 2021 Distinguished Alums. 
Ms. Carrie Curie, class of 2008, is the 2021 winner of the Natalie Moulton Gibbons Young Award Cheers. Mr. Keith Shoemaker, class of 1998, is the winner of the Natalie Moulton Gibbons Award. Mr. Keith Shoemaker, class of 1998, is the winner of the Natalie Moulton Gibbons Award. Let's give these folks a big round of applause. We know how special it is for those of you who serve as a former College Night leaders to be back with us this evening. You lived, laughed, cried, and sweated through one or more like five or six. Would any College Night leaders stand and remain standing? serve as College Night Cabinet members, please stand. Let's add to that and see what happens. Would all that played College Night please stand? One question to ask you. What's it gonna be? Give yourselves a hand. And finally, I would like to acknowledge a group of individuals comprised of faculty, staff, and students who have worked diligently to assist us in making it all come together. With the members of the College Night Committee, chaired by Kristen Gilbert and Dr. Kelly Wacker, will you please stand and be recognized? formal introductions, please take a moment to make sure your cell phones are silent. The gold side will now take the stage for their final preparation for their production.
And now, the 2022 Gold Victory Cast proudly presents the Ballad of the Mississippi River, written by Kinsley Samlin and Autumn Simmons, directed by Joshua Norris and Delaney Eves, choreographed by Meredith Vaughn and Nick Lyles, lyrics by Thomas Massey and Rainey Tanner, composed by Jalen Allen and Alex Wilson and Luke Taylor. Hit chorus directed by Alex Wilson. Artistic direction by M.K. Bryant and Kinsey Mendel. Costumes by Anna Bradsfield. Technical direction by Brock Bush. Stage management by Ashley Johnson. The 2022 Gold Victory Orchestra is conducted by David, David Demas and Luke Taylor.
welcome to a story that is oh so true. The one about Paul and his baby. with his girl right at his side. The story began on the mountain so high. He was great and it came out in the wild so we would have room to play for miles and miles. He was great and it came out in the wild so we would have room to play As he was clearing the land and heading out west, that was when he saw Bayfa damsel in distress. <laughs> To do what he knows best with his massive hammer, and you know the rest. John Henry got the tussle and clickety clack with the men over yonder with a mighty big axe. All told, John, you can lay tracks here. I've been clearing this land for years and years. John thought no man should own that much land, so he stood up to him and showed his head. They fought for days, John Paul and Babe, in the edge of his own. Small fee. 
Don't work yourself too hard now, John. We don't need you getting a heat stroke out there. I know. Everything is going to be fine. I'll be down to meet you in a couple of days. Do you have your hammer? What about your hammer? Holly, it is going to be all right. Besides, it'll only be a couple days. If you or the boys need anything before you come, just send a message down. Now I got to go. It's going to leave me. All right, John. See you soon. Love you. Love you, too. Well, if it ain't the steel driving man, the arm and the hammer. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you, Casey. I heard about that challenge that Captain Dabney gave you. You really think you can beat that steam drill? I have seen one work firsthand, and boy, that thing is as quick as a jackrabbit. <laughs> yeah, I heard, but I ain't worried. Ain't no kind of machine ever going to beat me. Whatever you say, John. Last call. Next stop, Tennessee. Uh, hello, sir. Is this seat taken? Uh, nope, it's all yours. The name's Henry. John Henry. So where are you headed? Well, Tennessee for now as I use my hammer to make these here tracks to provide new life for the people. Oof, wow. <laughs> so what journey are you on? Oh, well, just like you, Mr. Henry, I have a calling to plant my seeds across these great states. Well, it seems like you got a lot of traveling to do. As the rail car soar and the smoke puffs fly, we're all on this path just for different reasons why. Where we've been, where we'll go, whatever fate may bring, this train will leave. Our destiny. West Virginia! West Virginia! The friendship starts with a chance meeting in a crowded train with very little seating. Two men, John and Johnny, who will soon rise to glory. Good day, sir. Johnny, Massachusetts, where I'm from. Grew up in poverty, and what you see is the outcome. I ain't got much, but it's enough. No rich is just some rags. But let me tell you, man, I got some magic in this bag. <laughs> Train America's green thumb sensation, but apple seeds everywhere across the nation. Kentucky! Kentucky! I feel you, man. You got a lot of fire when you speak. I'm just like you, filled with passion under this physique. I busted through my chains, ascended through the ranks, and now you see what I'm doing is laying the track. But these are trains. As the rail cars soar and the smoke puffs fly, we're all on this path just for different reasons why. I'm traveling to go fight toe to toe with the machine. What happens next, the future can never be foreseen. Tennessee! Tennessee! I know that we just met, but you was missing from my life. From here on out, I'm here for you through any kind of strife. from coast to coast. Wait, hold on, man. If you run into Bayern, then you're toast. What? <laughs> Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our final destination, Tennessee. Please grab your hats and bags and make your way to the exits. And as always, thank you for choosing Golden Railway. So, John, is Paul really that dangerous? Quit saying that man's name. Uh, why? I mean, I really don't understand. Don't say that man's name. They used to live out west. We used to live out west. Me and my sister out west. And life was the best. Then he came to town. And you know what went down. Never let me tell the good parts. I didn't even say it. <sighs> Never mind. Come on. <clears throat> Baby, that is right hand. Chopping us down is his brand. Jane and Bill push as he planned. With his axe, he took the land. Since then, we've been so scared. But having an issue with the So before you get to carry.
sip of my cider yet. Don't do it! Listen, kid. I had a couple run-ins with this man before. He's never satisfied with anything, always wants more. So he's just uh, extremely greedy? I don't get it. One day we may fight and finally settle the score. Until then, I have my men and family I provide for. But I'll admit it would be nice if someone took him down in war, rocked him to his core, cause he wants more. As tall as a mountain master, lumberjack. When you call out his name, here comes the maniac through the fire. Now repeat after me. Don't. Don't. Say. Say. Don't say that man's name. Why can't I say that man's name? Ah, listen, kid, chase your dreams because I'd want the same for my boy. But I wouldn't advise messing with the big guy or his blue she devil. Uh, okay, uh, let me get this straight. So he went out west. Yes, he went out west. If I take my seeds to his land, that wouldn't fit in his plan. And so what is Paul's plan? <laughs> to have all the land. <laughs> He's no god, he's just a man. With my cider, he'll understand. First I plant my seeds, that's a small victory. No need to be worried, I know he's caused a fright. The way you guys are talking seems like there's no end in sight. But he'll turn around with my seed. <laughs> but I feel like my calling is to go out west, you know, plant trees, meet new people. And besides, I've never ran into anyone that didn't love me. I'm just warning you, he ain't nothing to play around with. Now, I know I can't control what you do, but if you need any help, you know where to find me. Hey, Johnny, we got about 30 minutes till our train heads off to Barstow. I'll grab the tickets to meet you there. That sounds good, Boone. See you soon. So why is this competition so important to you? I mean, what happens if you lose? My boss, Captain Dabney told me that if I don't beat these steam drills, then all my men lose their jobs. Mm, well, I don't think it should all fall on you. That doesn't seem very fair to me. It ain't fair, but I got a lot of people counting on me. Like who? Like my home, my family, and all the men that rely on me to be strong every day. You sure are a wise apple, Mr. Henry. I'll see you around, Johnny. Family at home, the tears on their faces. Daddy came back home with a look of disgrace. I needed to be strong so they wouldn't see my pain. I'm from a path of broken dreams, but now that I'm free, I want. Boss on my behind with my hammer, so I survive. So I can't stop. I gotta keep on going. I want to be the man my kids can say. Daddy paved the way, and my men will look and say, John, you saved the day. 
from a past of broken dreams. But now that I'm free, I long to be. I know I gotta be. I know I gotta be. So I can be. I wanna be, wanna be, wanna be. I think I should be the one to tell Paul. It was my idea, plus I'm older than you, so I make the rules. Really? Because I heard John and Johnny first. It don't matter if you heard them first. Like I said, I make the rules. Hush! We're here. Now make yourself useful and hold my horse. <laughs> now, we gotta look like we got our lives together. So fix your hat and pull your britches up. Well, would you look what the cats dragged in, Paul? We thought y'all were never gonna show. Paul, you will never believe what we heard. We saw the- Bam! I said I was gonna be the one to tell them first. You no good son of a- Hey! What are you two blabbering about? Okay, so we were on Casey's train from West Virginia when we overheard a man named Johnny saying he was on his way here to plant some, what were they called? Apple trees. Can't let Yeah, apple trees. And how he wanted to spread them all over the West and share some apple cider with us, which I think would taste delicious, but... <laughs> he, he, he what? The man wants to plant what? Apple bees. Wait, that ain't it. Apple trees! <sighs> this has got to be a joke. This man wants to come out West and plant some trees on my land. <clears throat> I mean, on Babe's land. So what does he think is going to happen? Hmm? He can just come on over and start dropping seeds wherever he wants. <laughs> and to be honest, sir, I don't really think he knows who you are. <laughs> Don't know who I am. <laughs> well, I don't know how, when. I have worked for years to make a name for myself. All the blood, sweat, and tears, and all the trophies on my shelf. I have traveled across this land using nothing but an axe. I have strength, I have power, I have brain, I have brawn, and I created the dawn. So when this boy starts to cower in fear And he begs for mercy, cause the end is near Just know that when he makes his claim He'll know my name What else? Oh, right! I can clear a thousand acres with a swing And the people around here all call me king I make canyons just by dragging my axe And I have the best looking girl in the whole wide world That's a fact I have strength, I have power, I have brain, I have brawn Have I mentioned that I did create the dawn? So when this boy starts to cower with fear And he begs for mercy, cause the end is near Just know that when he makes his claim He'll know my name Paul, don't get yourself so 
yourself so worked up? I have an idea. How about these two lovely assistants and myself traveling down to Texas and I grab him for you? I really think that I Relax. should. Relax. We don't need you making a scene. Just hang back in Oklahoma and we'll bring him to you. I ain't never been on a trip before with you, babe. I'm real excited now. <laughs> I know, Bill. And there's a reason for that. But hopefully this will be our last. Babe, I really See you soon, Paul. Don't be getting into too much trouble while we're gone. <laughs> TV! Possibly defeat me because if he tries, he'd have to beg for mercy. I don't do it for the money or the fame, I just do it for the love of the game. Just know that when this fruit makes his claim, he'll know. along with his new friend, Daniel Boone. And it seems as though his ciders are already a hit. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on some of that cider. And I can't wait to just drown my sorrows away so then maybe I won't have to put up with you anymore. And Johnny was right. Everyone already loves him. This cider is the best thing that I've ever drank. And Johnny is the one that we all have to thank. Yes, Johnny Appleseed's our hero. Come on, say it now. Yes, Johnny, we love you. And all we can say is wow. I'll tell you all things, Apple, are my pride, my everything. So all things apple seeds and cider I will always bring. We'll drink this cider with a smile. We will drink it with a smile. We'll stay and talk and laugh. to we'll love for a while. We'll shout and dance and sing the whole night long. The whole night long. We'll take a sip and shout and cheer for Johnny. I met Johnny on the train. Woo. We rode straight into town. And I can tell y'all he's a great man. Just great to have around. We thank you for your apple cider. Best I've ever had. Johnny is our favorite guy. Oh, you guys, I'm so glad. Go! Oh. 
<laughs> you guys sure do know how to have a good time. Uh, hey, do you all like my cider? Yeah! yeah! See, I told you they'd love it. Oh my gosh, David, it was so good to see you. I haven't seen you since the war. <laughs> what was that, like 10 years ago? Yes, sir. Well, how'd you both meet? Glad you asked. <clears throat> so there I was underneath the Alabama moonlight. The critters were crawling, the river was flowing, and then bam! Out of nowhere, I look up in this tree and I see a raccoon. You see, I was real hungry! <laughs> so I aim my gun up at it, and I hear him say, Hi, the name's Boone. Daniel Boone. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we met. Really? Because I remember that a little differently. You see, there I was, underneath the Alabama moonlight. The river was rolling, the critters were crawling, and then BAM! Out of nowhere, I see this big coyote staring straight up at me. I grab my little slingshot, pull back, close my left eye, cause my right one's bad, you see. And just as I'm about to let go, I hear, I'm too young to get rabies! <laughs> you know, that does sound right. <laughs> you men are something else, but what a small world that we all cross paths like this. Just happenstance. And a little bit of good luck. <laughs> you know, I really hope I can meet this Mr. Paul Bunyan. He sounds like he's a... What are you doing? We don't say that name around here. It's bad luck. Plus... <laughs> he can hear you. Hear me? I... Yeah, he sure can. Legend has it, if you say or even whisper his name, that the trees that are still left will carry his name all the way back to him. Oh, are you sure that's true? Well, it's absolutely positively true. One time my buddy Bart said his name out in Kansas City, and about 10 minutes later, you know who shows up. That's the last we've seen an old Bart. We might be apart, but Bart has always been my heart. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Y'all are insane. Do you realize how crazy you sound right now? So you mean to tell me if I just uh, say his name, he's just going to pop up? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, uh, let me give it a try. Paul. Did somebody call Paul? <laughs> oh, Bess, calm down. No, we're not. We're just here for our little apple guy. Yeah. So come out with your hands up, apple bees. Apple seed. God, you are so dumb. Hey, you ever said it coming Step to my aside, you old hat. I got bigger fish to fry. Now, oh, Johnny. Come on out. I promise we won't hurt you. Who are you? I have never seen a man with a hat like that. You want it? The name's Boone. Daniel Boone. Oh, you're so gracious, always giving unto others. But it seems the only thing that I need is Johnny. You know where he's at? Well, no, ma'am. Look here, Boone. Let's stop with the small talk. It's important for you to know I always get what I want, and this time is no different. TV Something soon you'll see. Yeah! Now there's a man named Paul. And he is not happy. He's caught wind of someone known as Johnny Appleseed. Now I'm gonna ask you all again. Where is he? I know where he is. 
This can go real smooth if y'all cooperate. You can try to run away, but you will not escape. We made our way out here to see what's going down. Gotta find that Johnny Force in out of town. What do you expect me to blow a kiss? I'm not playing no games, hon, I never miss. I've got Jane and Wild Bill and they do what I say. I said my name is Dave, and I get my way. My name is Babe. I said I get my way. I don't care how good his cider is. What Paul says goes. So I want you all to know. I know Johnny's here, and he ain't good at hiding. Now someone confess, cause this lie I'm not buying. That babe is real scary. She gives me a fright. I haven't seen him, and I've been here all night. Do you know I need cider? It's really him. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Real gummy and gummy. When you see this blue on my dress, okay. honey, you get stressed. Paul wants the kid. I won't go back empty-handed. Gotta do what's demanded. Jay, go right I said that babe is my name. Yeah! yeah. Babe. And I play my own game. I said my name is I said my name is Babe. Madu, 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 madu. I said my name is Babe. Madu, 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 madu. And I always get my way. I've been waiting for. I can't believe you got Johnny and his traveling buddy. It was all me. We all know that's a lie. Mm, I want to see you. All right. Behind number one, we have. Oh, this is none other than the charming Daniel Boone. This one was easy to catch. He spun right into my arms. <laughs> and the one we have all been waiting for, number two. Is Bill? Bill? What? I ain't even done nothing. Hey, Coach Bill, you idiot. Where is he? It seems like I always got to do everything myself. Paul, I, I don't want to hear anything from you. I don't trust them, but I depended on you. I knew I should have gone. So, which one of you? He's gonna tell me. <laughs> Daniel, you got anything to say? <laughs> what about you, Bill? Oh, shit. You need me? Well, that's easy. He went to go see his friend, Jordan Ray, up in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like someone has a little bit of sense. Get these two men up. We're going to Tennessee. <laughs> GB Cole! GB Cole! Oh, I'm so glad you could make it early. You know, me and the boys are about to go practice for tomorrow, but did you have a good trip? Sure did. Just glad to be here. <laughs> and as always, we are glad to have you. Oh, what is all this commotion about? Johnny, 
Back so soon? Good to see you. Look, John, I need your help. I was at the saloon passing out my cider, having a great time when the door is fling open and she walks in. She comes in and she wants to hurt me, John. They want to hurt me. Uh, and they even have my apple seeds. Uh, I can't live without those apple seeds. That's what I live for. That's what I want to do. John, John, slow down now. Oh, Polly, do you mind getting this boy a towel? Now slow down and tell me what happened. I was at the saloon with Daniel Boone. Uh, we were passing out cider, having a great time, when, when a woman in a blue dress walks in and starts calling my name. What did the woman in blue look like? Oh, well, she was kind of short, super boshy, with long blonde hair. That sounds like babe. Was there a woman and a man with her? Uh, yeah, and they were just waving their guns around, which looked fake. Was there a tall man with an axe with him? No, 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 just those three. What am I going to do? You know what? I think I'm just going to head back no, home. No, 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 no. We are going to find him. What? John, you can't face that man again. He beat me once with that axe, you're right. But I ain't going to let him hurt anybody else, especially Johnny. What about the competition? Yeah, John, please don't do this. I can't afford to see you hurt like that again. What if he... John, please don't go, you don't know what to do And I can't be here without you We have to try, Polly, please don't cry We will get through it and we must pursue this I'm so sorry, John and Polly I made such a mess and the last thing you needed was stress. I don't want trouble. I feel like it's double with Faye, Bill, and Jane. This situation is pain. We can do this. I know we can miss with Johnny by my side. He's my new ride or die. All right, I give in, but y'all better win. I promise we'll finally beat Paul Bunyan. We'll work hard, be stronger than we've ever been. Together, I know we can win. Together, I know we can win. Together. From nine to five, the kids outside, and I don't know what to say. Come home, John. Come home, John. Come home, John. Remember, be aware, John. Come home. being on the train and all, so they went by foot. Clementine? Why are you crying? Those 
men didn't realize was that they were going to meet their enemy sooner than they thought. They traveled for days and days when finally Appleseed, John, and his men were spotted right on the Tennessee state line by none other than our friends, Jane and Wild Bill. That's a bear trap, isn't it? Oh, hold it. I think I heard something. It's for us, you idiot. It don't feel like it. <laughs> Jane, let me lead. I'm the oldest. You're also the dumbest. <laughs> Wait, Bill. Do you see that shiny thing over there? <laughs> Go check it out. You go. You're the oldest. Jane, I bet this is some silver or something. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> I'm tired of hiding behind this bush. Now we are gonna have to face them at some point, so I'm going out there. No, don't! <laughs> so we meet again, Bill. Well. We were looking for someone else, but I know he's going to love this. Oh, well, were you looking for Johnny? Because he's here, too. <laughs> Paul, we found him. He's over here. John, I see you have brought some friends. I'll bet your boys are big now. How's the wife? I didn't think I'd ever see you again. John. You've gotten so much bigger since the last time I saw you. Those tricks aren't going to work on me, babe. <laughs> well, Johnny, step up. Be a man. Now, I hear you want to come out west and plant some trees. Is that correct? Well, how are you going to plant the trees if you don't have the seeds? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Oh, 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 just take my seeds and go back oh, east. Oh, that was easier than I thought. All right, now here are your seeds. Now, how do I know you won't come back? Just give them the seeds, Paul. Give him the seeds and let his friends go and we will be on our merry way. Hush! This ain't between me and you. No, 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 you have my words or I won't be back. I'm just begging you, please. Please give me those seeds. All right, all right, fine. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think I was just going to hand them over? Sir, I'm begging you. Those seeds are all I got. Okay. I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you the seeds if you promise to stay in the East. And you walk over and give me that man's hammer. That is enough. Johnny, you are better than this. And Paul, you have been pushing people around far too long, and I'm tired of it. And what are you going to do about it? No, I don't want to fight. I just want you to give Johnny his seed so we can go. Matter of fact, why don't you come get them for him? It shouldn't be a problem for a man as strong as you. Get him out of my way. <laughs> Always getting people to do the hard work for you, I see. Beating you? It's easy work. And I think it's about time I do it again. You scared, John? <laughs> and on this night, the two men met with all their might. For we've heard this story before, but this one would shake the earth down to its core. It would shake the chains and set Johnny's friends free. 
And meanwhile, Johnny grabs his apple seed. At the earth's foot, began to hear a sound. A sound will be heard from all around. A mighty wind would blow, and soon thereafter, the water would rush by them, getting faster and faster. Much to their surprise, the water would rise. And then as we began to see the sun, Paul shouted out, Oh, John, what have we done? John replied, Well, it seems, Paul, that we both are born. And it seems that you've been granted this land. Now it's your move, so what's your plan? Do you use it for good and bring what is dead new life? Or did you keep tearing them down and keep bringing more strife? Then Paul cried out with a mighty roar, But John, don't you see? I, I have this land, and I want more. John laughs and says, Paul, 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 after all these years, we have finally settled the score. They agree with a nod and then part ways, for a lot would happen in the coming days. Ladies, that's all I can remember. Yeah, TV goes This evening, you've finally seen the story that you've never heard. That's how it went down. You can trust our word. All the power of my acts So we have the train and follow the tracks We created the Grand Canyon and so much more This is a true story, yes, we know we're sure Now me and Daniel Booth traveled way back up north Where we would work and grow the largest ever apple orchard We then old thing Drew was piloted by my side And all my making keep the job So now we work with pride Came our hearts and now we're happy again
going off of the program. It's in no particular order. So Carson Reed, Troy McMullen, Brandon Bird, Carly Wilmore, William Jenkins, Natalie Anderson, Macy Robinson, Josh Giles, Madison Hodgkiss, Abby Sled, Mackenzie Alford, Reese Dutton, Romeo Garrison, Abigail Hewton, Madison Hotchkiss, oh, we already said that, Destin King, S, Ivan, Robin, and Paris, and CJ. So next, we are going to list off members of our pre-production cabinet. We're going to do all the cabinet. Starting with Caitlin Blackburn, Atsidi Chavez, Kivante Hall, Abigail Hewton, Josiah Garrett, Katie Cheslock, Sierra Redden, Alexis Young, Jesse Lemley, Drea Hawkins, Josie Offit, Jess Seymour, Carly Wilmore, Carson Reed, Bailey Glasgow, Gabby Marshall, Madeline Alexander, Gabrielle Grissett, Macy Robinson, Carly Wilmore, Brianna Bramlett, Alana Moreno, Fallon Nee Smith, Isaac Barentos, Josie Offert, Shermani Page, Troy McMullen, Reese Bush, Marie Carnahan, Bobby Crawford, Madison Hotchkiss, Troy McMullen, Destin King, CJ Edwards, Molly Culp, Isabella Harrington, Lexi Barnett, Alicia Freeman, Gracie Collins, Alyssa Watts, Sarah Pete, Robin Watson, Janie Mangson, Kayla Hampton, Trevin Fitz, Cole Swain, Okay, and now for our orchestra, our amazing orchestra. We got Eddie, Reese already up here, and Marie, Bobby Crawford, Nathan Crew, Rebecca Emiliano, Jacob Cross, Jody Harrison, James Rodham, Gabe Vargas, Jasmine Williams, Bradley Wilt, and Avery Ziegler. Pitt Chorus, Courtney Clay, Gracie Collins, Veronica Conley, Michaela Krim, Anna Hancock, Alexis Holman, Joe Keegan, Bethany Leader, Jordan Long, Morgan McGinnis, Cam Nelson, Krista Rain, Patty Schultz, and Alyssa Watts. And lastly, our beautiful run crew. We have Aubrey Chastain, Gabrielle Grissett, Marilyn Jeffries, Devoria Matthews, and Katie Wayne. Oh, and Illyria. Not Illyria. Akayla, sorry. Akayla, dang. Come on up. Maybe Akayla. going to announce our gold side cast. Tyson Evans. Nick Lyles. Stephen Heyman. Delaney Eves. Javen Radney. Come to the stage, babies. Cole Broadhead. Rainy Tanner. Abby Truitt. Hannah Mallory, Joshua Norris, Thomas Massey, 
Harper Chassie, yeah. Emily Hester, yeah. Shelby Wagner, yeah. Meredith Vaughn, yeah. Madison Rankin Taylor, yeah. and Grace Mitchell. Yeah. And now I'm going to announce the pit chorus, and you babies come on stage as well. Lenny C. Brown. Melody Darby, yeah. Alika Hartley, yeah. Autumn Simmons, yeah. Kate Wilson, yeah. and now for our orchestra, Alex Costello, yeah. David Dimas, yeah. Emma Johnson, yeah. Amari Luis, yeah. Alex Smith, yeah. Colin Stevens, yeah. Luke Taylor, Lauren Tidwell, and Gabe Vargas. And now I'm going to bring up our Gold Victory 2022 cabinet. <laughs> Emily Hester. <laughs> Josh Norris. <laughs> Delaney Eves. Meredith Vaughn, yeah. Nick Lyles, yeah. Ashley Johnson, yeah. Alex Wilson, yeah. Luke Taylor, yeah. David Demas, yeah. Callum McKenzie, yeah. Sierra Dennis, yeah. Brock Bush, yeah. MK Bryant, yeah. Kenzie Salter, yeah. Brittany Parton, yeah. Hannah Mallory, Jemiah yeah. Williams, yeah. Anna Brassfield, yeah. Brittany Manessis, yeah. Elliot Moore, yeah. Janie Taylor, yeah. Maddie Kirkland, yeah. Mary Kate Middlebrook, yeah. Ashley Matthews, yeah. Savannah Blackstock, yeah. Autumn Canty, yeah. Eliza Neighbors. Perkins, yeah. Paige Stevens, yeah. Spencer Stower, yeah. Kaylin Martin, yeah. Destiny Walker, yeah. Catherine Gay, yeah. Abby Dennis, yeah. and Rachel Raker. Yeah. And a special thanks to Jalen Allen. take on this year's season. We would like to invite you on the stage now.
It's finally a time to announce what we've all been waiting for. The winner of the college night. Remember that the winner of college night is the side with the highest total number of points. Sides earn pre-production points and production points, which are totaled to give us a college night winner. Good afternoon. I hope that you have enjoyed watching both shows. Before we get to the announcement that everyone has been waiting for, I want to take a second to applaud the students standing before me. College night. College night has been an age old tradition for this campus since 1919. During the past couple of years, the University of Montevallo has had to change the way we do some events. Fortunately, this year we have the opportunity to gather in person. Both sides always work incredibly hard, but this year was different. This year was about teaching the underclassmen about the joy, heart, and soul of the game. These students that stand beside me have amazed me by their resilience throughout this college night season and this year. They have been tested daily and have held on to hope, working diligently to get to this moment. As we work to keep this beloved homecoming tradition alive, I hope that the alumni, faculty, and students fall in love with the game all over again, because together I know we can. <laughs>